Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dinkledork, and today we're going to be talking about updating in-game portraits for your 3.3.5 client. The tools you'll be needing today are Latex MPQ Editor, GIMP, or some other image editor, an upscaler like Cupscale, I'll be including a link to this in the description, WoW Export, and BLP Converter. This original image was changed by Blizzard recently into a bowl of fruit. This was the old image, this is the new image, and this is our new image. If you're looking for where you can find portraits in game, the Scarlet Monastery Library has a huge selection of portraits to choose from. And of course you can always wander around in Dalaran if you're looking for something from the Wrath expansion. Today we're going to be updating one of these portraits here in Gilneas. I'm in the main city square. We're we'll going to be doing this one right here. And I might do this one over here, except this one is a two-part portrait because her eyes open and close. First thing first, we're going to open up our wowexport.exe. Click this world button. Go ahead and select the top build. This is going to take a minute to load. And again, I'll be including this as one of the programs in the links in the description. Once we are here, we're going to go ahead and click on textures up top. Type in paintings. And you can just go ahead and browse through all the paintings and find the one that you want to go ahead and change. For me, the one that we're going to be changing is in Gilneas, so I'm just going to go ahead and look through those. And it looks like it's the second one. Go ahead and click this button on the bottom right that says export as BLP raw. Open the file in the explorer. And then we're going to copy this into our BLP converter folder. Basically where BLP converter.exe is. We're going to take this BLP and just drag and drop it on our converter. And now we have a PNG. This next step is optional, but I think it's a good step. I like to upscale as much as I can in my WoW client. Keep in mind that there is a limit on how far you can upscale different items for different assets. Typically 1024 by 1024 is as large as you can get for most objects. There are of course some exceptions. This particular image at the moment is 256 by 256, but going beyond said limits can be bad for your WoW client, so I don't recommend doing that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up CupScale in the folder. I've included a link in the description for this program as well, as some of you might have different setups. Go ahead and just choose the build for your particular setup. The biggest thing here is to make sure you have Model 1 selected. You can play around with different models to see which ones you like. And then to go ahead and enable transparency. I like Cupscale in particular because it does save alpha and transparency layers, which many assets in World of Warcraft use. You don't have to use it in particular, there's a lot of really good paid ones out there, but yeah. Next we're, gonna go, we're just going to drag and drop our PNG for the Worgen painting in here. And then on the bottom, we're just going to do don't add a suffix, just overwrite. If the extension matches, hit upscale and save. Once that's done, you'll see that we have a new image dimension, which is 1024 by 1024. Much better looking overall and a lot easier to work with. Next thing you want to do is open up GIMP or any other model imaging program. I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop the image here. And then you're going to take the other image that you want to work with. For me, I'm going to go ahead and add this image to GIMP. This is the image that Falmerillion, one of our developers, decided to choose to be in game. I'm trying to add as many as the developers and other people who have been large contributors to various portraits. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and resize, so, so Shift S. And we're just going to go ahead and fit this into our 
portrait within the frame. Keep in mind that different portraits have different uh, frame limits, but it's a good idea to try to stay in within the black lines, right? You might also want to do a bit of cropping. just to get things to where you want them to be. Also keep in mind that some images will be stretched, so you may have to play around a bit with stretching and compressing your images overall. Once we have our image in the frame, we're gonna go ahead and do File, Export As, and then just overwrite the existing one, hit the Export button, hit Replace, Make sure that we are saving gamma, offsets, color values from transparent pixels, and just hit export. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our PNG and drop it onto the BLP converter again. And since the image is larger this time, it's probably going to take a bit longer. While that's processing, we're going to go back into WoW export and just write down our file path. So for this, our file path for our MPQ is going to be world expansion 03 doodads worgen paintings. And that's where we're going to go ahead and put our image. Looks like it converted successfully. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to close our WoW EXE. We're going to open up Latix MPQ editor and go into our working patch directory which for me is patch Y. And it looks like I don't have that particular file extension yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it. So we are in world expansion 03 doodads. Next one is worgen. We're gonna go ahead and do paintings. And then we're gonna take the BLP that we just converted from PNG and drop it in. Close that and start up our client again. And then we're just going to check everything out, make sure that we did everything right. Looks like I'm probably going to have to clean up the borders a bit. Like I said, sometimes these borders aren't as obvious, but, but that's just pretty easy to accommodate. All you're doing really is cutting back the line a little bit more, resizing your image, you know, whatever you need to do essentially. A few moments later. Anyways, now you can see that the frame is a bit better. There's obviously a little bit more room for improvement, but you get the picture. Play around with it. See what you come up with. There's a lot you can do. I think it's kind of fun. Anyway, like the video if you guys liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you on the other side of Azeroth.